coming also to Hennepin County Attorney's Office with Mary Moriarty elected to replace the retiring Mike Freeman as chief prosecutor. Moriarty ran her campaign promising to prosecute violent criminals but said she will use data and research in her role not only to keep people safe but also in her words to create a more fair and just system. Moriarty says she plans to be transparent as soon as she's officially in her new role. The voters in Hennepin County rejected the politics of fear, um, which I think the, the, the fear part was trying to convince people that we need to continue to do, do the same failed policies of the past. And so the voters resoundingly rejected that. That's simply now before being elected to her new role, Moriarty was the former chief Hennepin County defense attorney. She retired under turmoil after she was suspended and investigated by the state board for creating a fearful environment in her work office and destroying relationships with criminal justice partners. She sued and the case was settled. Now Moriarty does bring on a big change to the Hennepin County Attorney's Office, Mike Freeman. He's been in that role for a total of 24 years. He openly supported Moriarty's opponent, Martha Holton Dimmick, but said he did call Moriarty last night to congratulate her. Fox 9's Karen Scullin sat down with Freeman today for thoughts on the coming changes. Karen? Well, it was a candid conversation today with Mike Freeman, who says despite their differences, he's ready to help Mary Moriarty with the transition. There will be changes, yes, but sweeping changes for the Hennepin County Attorney's Office Mike Freeman doesn't think so. You can't come into a job like this and say, I'm going to take over and we're going to do everything different. I don't think Mary's trying to do that, but if she does, it's not going to work. Mary Moriarty will soon take over as Hennepin County Attorney, a role Mike Freeman has held for a total of 24 years. She said she will prosecute violent criminals, but will also focus more on diversion programs and alternative forms of punishment for criminals. Most of the things I've heard from Mary we're already doing and maybe she can expand on them. We do a lot of pre- and post-charge diversion. Moriarty does have a reputation of being hard to work with at times, and Freeman says she will have to find some common ground to get the job done. One of the criticisms of Mary was she didn't get along very well with all of us, um, and that's true. She picked fights with me, she picked fights with the chief judge, she picked fights with the county administrator, she picked fights with the the folks who are in charge of the public defense system. Um, it's not my style, um, but she has a chance and a job that requires even more cooperation. And she's a smart person. She knows she's got to do that. At the office today, Freeman says his colleagues did seem a bit surprised with the election results, a bit worried too, but that they understand that it's time for acceptance so that the important work continues to get done and done well. This is no time for a victory lap by anyone. This is time to settle down and get ready to do the people's work. Again, Freeman did call Moriarty to congratulate her on the win last night. He says they will speak again over the next few days. In the newsroom, Karen Scullin, Fox 9. All right.